Um, I'll tell you that I think my favorite scene, they were all they were all amazing to shoot in different ways, but there was something about being on the, in the desert dunes of Namibia and shooting those, all the flashback sequences where you're seeing Amonet's life and the texture of it and the kind of dreamlike quality of it. To be shooting on those dunes was one of the most beautiful locations that I've ever been to. And the, the thing that I loved about it was I really wanted to shoot the ancient Egypt sequences in a way that didn't feel like you were looking at the scene through glass, you know, like, but actually shooting it through her subjective point of view. And so tying the camera to her experience and being very close on her, on the details of her hands and her feet and her face and while feeling the expanse of that space was a very special thing to do cinematically. I really enjoyed that. And it is exquisite, for yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, how about any Tom Cruise stories? Mm -hmm. What are your favorite stories about Tom? Well, he kind of set a tone in our first meeting because the, you know, there's a plane crash sequence in the movie, and, and I said, all right, here's what I want to do. I think we'll build a rotisserie set, which is a rotating set, and we'll put the camera on a crane, and we'll be able to move the camera through. You know, And he said, yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great, but we're going to do it for real. And I went, what? And he said, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it for real. We're going to do it on this thing called the Vomit Comet. And the Vomit Comet is a plane that you know rockets up to the sky at the speed of a rocket, evens out, and then plummets straight down to Earth for 22 seconds. And in that 22 seconds, you go weightless. And I thought, <clears throat> wow, OK, uh, amazing. Like, what an incredible opportunity. Um, but it set a tone because everything we tried to do in the film was in the spirit of really wanting to make you feel you were immersed in the experience that you were inside everything. And you know, when you're seeing Tom and Annabelle spinning through that plane, there's no CGI in that shot. That's, that's them in zero gravity. And every day there was a challenge like that where you, know, you prepare and you prepare, but you always want to wait for the spontaneous magic that kind of reveals itself in the moment. And um, he, was he was just an extraordinary partner at that. You know, we challenged each other and we, we got along so well and we, we've now worked together for 10 years. And, you know, to, to have that kind of understanding of what we both look for in film is everything. Now, our mummy unleashes all sorts of chaos. Mm -hmm. What was the most terrifying aspect of the mummy to you? Um, I think we spent a lot of time developing the phases of her transformation. And shooting the sequence under the pier, which is the scene where she first emerges, was kind of my favorite thing to do because that's the point where the movie really lapses into horror, you know, and it takes a turn and it says, we're going to be able to deliver you lots of different things, adventure and humor, but then we're going to scare you. And um, I love the idea that, you know, we could build this scary sequence that was really about, again, tying to her subject subjectivity, what it would be like for her to emerge from this coffin after 5,000 years into the modern world. And, you know, we shot on the, we built that pier set. So everything you see in the frame, including the water and the river behind it, was not there before we got there. And um, I just loved the, you know, the opportunity to shoot a film like that, to see her come back to life. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure to click the thumbs up button, check out our videos on your right, and subscribe to our channel.